you know things about this game that I do not. Yeah. Hello. Oh, I gotta take my hood off. Hi. <laughs> what? Uh, we we got Rooster versus Chase. Rooster versus Chase. Yeah. Are oh you excited? Boy. I'm so excited. This is gonna be a wash. I haven't seen Rooster Zetter before. Uh, I know. I'm pretty sure Rooster used to play Claren a little bit. Yeah, he played Claren. He likes Shovel Knight. He likes Shovel. Uh, and he had a Raster, but. Earlier today, he was playing against a Maple player, and uh, he lost with Claren, and then he was like, I'm going to go Zetterburn because he's easy. Yeah, it's not a bad choice. He, he makes sense to his tiny Smash 4 burn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, actually, re rest in peace, Rooster. You're rest gone. in peace, Rooster. He can do it. I mean, he's winning. Somehow. He's just got to... Chase is just letting... He's conditioning him. He's like, oh, you, you you think you're good? I'm gonna do something. I mean, Zetter can even even though he's like not the hardest character to beat, he can he has tools where he can just like take you out super fast. Even if like if Dank Ramen Boy doesn't pay attention very very well and he lets his guard down, which he's oh. not apparently. Yeah, no, he's, he, he's not straight. he's not gonna do that. <laughs> They, 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 like this is the guy that's pro projected to win the bracket, right? Versus like his friend, <laughs> his Smash Four playing buddy, his good old buddy, his good old pal Rooster, his son. All right, makes it back on stage. I kind of like that from Rooster actually. That that neat little recovery. Yeah, just throws out an air. Oh, oh gets what? the dunk, dude. Booyah? Rooster's got it, dude. Is this a Rooster Booyah time? Rooster Booyah time? Go team Rooster. Alright, solid tech in place. Or, er, I mean, tech uh, coverage there, but I think. And the edge guard. Yeah. Forward air is a tough one because if you get hit by the front hitbox, then you have to DI in to survive. Uh, if you get hit by the bottom hitbox, then you just get spiked to hell. So you have to. <laughs> You have to do your best to DI into the stage and tech. Yeah, weird move. Stuff like that is, uh... It, it's kind of like when, um... Like like the Falcon stomp, you get like the nipple hitbox. Exactly. And it sends out to the side. It's... It just... It, it, you're, you're not DIing right. You were, right. you were ready for a stomp, not a... It's got a lot of... I think it has three hitboxes total. It's got a top one too, which is weaker. Yeah, no, that move is huge. Yeah, it's a really good move. Yeah. Rana's a really good character. I like him. He's yeah. pretty fun. He is really fun. Uh, he's got a lot of interesting aerials, really fast aerials, so he can just snuff you out of your combos really fast. He's yeah. Got full poison stacks on Zeta right now. Let's see what he does. I mean, Rooster is. Rooster loves to whiff moves. <laughs> like he'll, he'll just throw out aerials and hope they hit, right? Yeah. So which, which isn't so good when you're poisoned because every time you whiff dead. a move, you take percent. It's, it's especially bad when you're dead. Right. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's PM Snake. Rano's fair is just PM Snake fair. No, it's way faster. It's like it's like Chic fair with a with a spike on the bottom. Yeah. So no matter what, it, it'll it'll kill you at like thirty. Right. If you di it wrong. Well, yeah. If, if you're like a, a dumbass Smash Four kid, you'll you'll di it wrong. And Ramen's really good at finding the hitbox he needs to out of that move. So like. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, like the you, you can just see right here like how much how <laughs> how well practiced uh, Ramen is compared to Rooster. Yeah. He's just flying around the stage. Oh well, yeah. See, uh oh. He, he he's just he's just running around like a crazy person, like a crazy frog. Yeah. He <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen, man. I I kind of want to. There it is. <laughs> There's the spike. I would love to see a uh, like a compilation of a uh, uh, sick Rano plays in Rivals of Aether to uh, Axel F uh, Crazy Frog. <laughs> 
I, I, I think I'd be really mad. Do. But <laughs> and I, I think it would make Chase mad more than anyone. He'd either really like it or he'd be like he, he'd actively <laughs> like just block that person on everything. I Whoever think it'd makes be good. it. It could be good. Oh, that was an interesting hit. Hit him from below the platform with a down air. Dash attack. Chase it's tries to cover the tech options, but he picks the right one, rolls away. Oh. Yeah, Rooster's a weird player. He's got kind of a big brain. Kind of a big brain? Not even a big brain. He's got a... He, he just feels it, you know? Yeah. Platform fighters make sense to him. Yeah. But, like, the English language and uh, <laughs> common sense don't seem to. Well, we have our strengths and we have our weaknesses, I guess. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the back air. This is where Zetter has a really tough time. Oh, there it is. Zetter has a super, super hard time getting back on stage, especially when he burns his resources like that. Well, yeah, he threw out an air dodge and then a jump and then an up B. Right. And then, like, without even getting hit, he uses a uh, wall jump, too. So right. he had, like, nothing there. Exactly. Oh, yeah, you have the to be really conservative with how you recover with, like, the, the, the spacey-esque recovery. Right. With a lot of characters, it's really beneficial to save your double jump and your air dodge as much as possible. Yeah. It's an easy habit to form, though, to just instantly double jump once you're well, off stage. Especially if you're used to, like, a game like Smash, right? Where right. Where you're constantly wanting to go to the ledge when you're shoved off stage because, like, it's because of the invincibility you get. Exactly. Uh, in this game, it's the opposite. You 